Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Mr. Fayyad Ahmed Kuchi from Baramla. I am being posted at Ashpura High Secondary, Kamwara. Today I am a through light on Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction again. Previously we have discussed this Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction already. Already I am a through light on it again. My topic is actually today Lange's law, but Lange's law we can discuss only when we may have understood these two laws of Faraday's. Faraday's first law, it it states that it states that I have already told you in the previous chapter, previous lecture, that when a conductor is placed, when a conductor carrying current is placed in front of the magnet bar magnet bar magnet electromagnetic electromotive force is being created and which in turn is known as induced emf it is a first law faraday's first law and in the second law we were telling that it states that uh, faraday's second law states that <coughs> Electromagnetic force, electromagnetic force is directly proportional to the magnetic flux with respect to the time. This is your second law I was discussing about. So today we have to discuss Lange's law. Lange's law. Lange was a scientist who gave the law and showed showed the direction of current flowing through that particular circuit faraday gave the two laws but could not explain show the direction direction flow of and direction of the current flow of current in a particular circuit when the magnetic flux is being created and he showed that uh, magnetic flux is being directly proportional to in the second law directly proportional to electromagnetic force is being directly proportional to magnetic flux with respect to the time in the second law but he could not explain he could not show how and in which direction current flows this was a drawback in the faraday's law then lens was a scientist who overcome that problem of Faraday's and showed that how and showed explain how could current flow in such a particular circuit you see dear students you watch here I am telling you this is a bar magnet bar magnet and this is a wire wire what I must say wounded wire wounded wire uh, through which current flows through which current flows but we don't know the direction of the current does it flow from here to here does it flow from here to here or from here to here this direction we are coming to know with the help of Lange's law he told that when a particular magnet magnetic bar is placed in front of such a conductor through which the current flows through which the current flows huh. when the bar magnet is placed closer to this conductor through which current flows what happens north pole from north pole side being closer to this uh, wire the conductor it creates a north pole here too because of the effect of this magnetic flux magnet flux the coil gets created north pole here and when it has north magnet here here is again north pole in the coil the 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 two repel each other the two repel each other and the direction of the current will be anti clockwise this type anti-clockwise not clockwise clockwise direction you are knowing 
this anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction will be mm, will the current flow uh, i may again tell you when a particular bar magnet is being placed nearer to i have written here nearer to such a conductor through which current flows uh, the magnetic flux due to magnetic flux of this bar magnet and due to the north pole which is closer to this uh, conductor a north pole will get created here also at this end due to the closing effect of this north pole of this bar magnet um, when you are um, aware already better uh, dear students you are already aware when a, con a current flows through a conductor it creates an electromagnetic force it creates electromagnetic effect in that that too has got the its own polarity in that sense i am telling it has got its effect north pole's effect a magnet has its no effect that's why this north pole comes closer to each other north pole and north pole when the two like poles come closer the, there is repulsion there is type of repulsion so the direction of the current will be reverse it will be anti-clockwise at that very moment at that very moment again again when the same bar magnet is placed away from the coil or you may say coil is placed away from the bar magnet bar magnet this time its north pole will face the south pole of this um, conductor south pole a south pole will be created firstly it created north pole here because of getting effect influence of this north pole of this magnet here that's why it created north pole here so they were the same poles facing each other there was a repulsion there was a repulsion and current made flow in anti-clockwise similarly here north pole faces south pole of this electric current of this electric electric currents electromagnetic effect so south pole comes uh, in front of north pole of this bar magnet so it's obviously obviously we have read that when north pole and south pole are face to face there is an attraction there is an attraction when there is an attraction so the current will flow in the the current will flow in the clockwise direction as i have shown here current will flow in the clockwise direction simply you have to get keep in mind when the magnet is bar magnet is closer to the current um, closer to the conductor carrying current the north pole will be created here in the current due to the effect influence of this north pole bar magnet and there will be repulsion the current will go anti-clockwise similarly when you will keep away this bar magnet from this conductor north pole will face south pole of this conductor uh, south pole of this conductor and there will be north and south and different poles will attract each other and the current will flow in and in clockwise direction this was the direction given by Lange's law Lange's law this will do for today this was complete Lange's law which i have tried to explain you people assalamu alaikum